Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. We are going to talk about insecurity in Nigeria and to show that the insecurity in Nigeria might get worse. This is because the United States government, the United States government has finally withdrew its soldiers and closed down its hundred million dollars military base in Nigeria Republic. And now the Russians have taken over. Recall that July 2023, the military junta in Nigeria Republic kicked out a democratically elected government. And one of the first things they did was to close the military base being handled by the French. They, they signed an agreement that America will also go. Now, America has gone. America is no more having any military base in Niger Republic. The junta has gotten what they want. Now, we are going to look at what this portends for the security of Nigeria going forward because Nigeria is a beneficiary of some of the things that the United States military base was doing in the Nigerian Republic thus far until they were kicked out. Now, before I go further on this, uh, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Don't, for, don't forget also that the books you are seeing on your screen were all written by yours truly and more. You can type the books names and the, the book's title and the author name in your Google space and it will take you directly to Amazon. Amazon is world's number one in print on demand and they can bring it to your doorstep, ship it to you anywhere in the world. Thank you for supporting this channel. Now let's go. The United States Establish this air base for uh, this uh, military base for a purpose. So let, let us look at why this base was necessary. Now, the United States established the military base in Nigeria Republic to support counter terrorism efforts in the Sahel region of Africa. The base located near Agadez was established in 2016 as part of a broader strategy to combat growing influence of extremist groups such as Boko Haram and Al-Qaeda affiliates in West Africa, including the Islamic State West Africa province, otherwise known as ISWAP. Now, by providing surveillance, intelligence, and logistical support, the, the base had helped in strengthening regional security and supports local military operations against these terrorist groups. The U.S. presence in Niger also helped in humanitarian and developmental mission, contributing to regional stability and cooperation with allied nations in the fight against terrorism. You recall that Nigeria is one of the countries paying the price of insecurity in West African sub-region or in the Sahel region. And I, I will not stop saying it. It was part of the consequences of the 
the, the, the overthrow and the killing of Muammar Gaddafi, which made the Sahel region one of the most terrorism-friendly zone in the world today. Because with Gaddafi gone, arms were flying in and out of the region unhindered. Now, what are the consequences of the closure of the U.S. military base in Niger Republic to Nigeria's security and their replacement by the Russians? It, this has dire consequences for Nigeria. That is what we're going to look at so that we see how it, it will affect Nigeria and how that is security is likely to worsen the situation. And then we're going to talk about the economic dimension of the whole matter. Because Nigeria and Russia are economic competitors in a product that is of interest in Europe. So let's go again. Now, what are the consequences? What are the consequences of this closure? or withdrawal of the Americans. It wasn't a voluntary withdrawal. The military junta forced them out that they must go. That they are, they, are, they are done with them. What are the consequences? Now, the closure of the United States military base in Niger Republic is likely to have some consequences that will affect the security in Nigeria and Nigeria's fight against Boko Haram and the Islamic State West Africa province, otherwise known as ISWA. Number one is that it will reduce surveillance. It will reduce surveillance and intelligence support to the Nigerian government. When the military base was still there, the United States, uh, the United States government through that military base used to share surveillance and intelligence information with the, with Nigeria and other uh, forces within the West African subregion. So the the closure of the U.S. base is going to have serious impact because they have hitherto provided critical surveillance and intelligence that had helped Nigeria to track and target extremist activities in the region. So its closure could lead to a decrease in the quantity and the quality of actionable intelligence available to Nigerian forces and is allied forces in the region. That's on that reduce intelligence. And you know we are not good in getting intelligence on our own. They were providing critical, actionable intelligence. Now that is gone. The it, it will also reduce, decrease military assistance to Nigeria by the United States because the base facilitated logistical operational support for counter-terrorism operations. Without this support, Nigerian forces might face challenges in executing effective operation against Boko Haram and Iswa. And uh, finally, uh, another critical effect it's going to have is that it's going to lead to increase in extremist activities. Increase in extremist activities. And you know what that portends for Nigeria. Now, the absence of the United States military presence might embolden extremist groups like Boko Haram, Al Qaeda, our affiliates, Islamic State, West Africa province. It will embolden them 
and that will potentially lead to an increase in attacks or expansion of the activities in the region. And you know that Nigeria is one of the countries bearing the brunt of extremism in the sub-region. We are the one facing the music. We are closer to Niger. We share a lot in common with Niger, with Mali, with Burkina Faso. We are the center of it. In Northeast alone, terrorism has led to the killing of over 300,000 people, displacement of over 3 million people. The thing it has done to Nigeria is, is, is mind-blowing. Now, when we thought that we are getting ahead or that we are having improvement, this is what we are getting. The closure of the U.S. Um, uh, um, uh, military base in the Nigeria Republic. So overall, the closure could impact the effectiveness of counter-terrorism efforts in Nigeria and worsen the insecurity in the country, especially if there are no alternative. Do we have an alternative as the base has closed with its intelligence sharing capacity? Do we have an alternative? This is because the Russians have stepped in. The Russians and the U.S. have left. The United States Armed Forces, they have left Niger. In their place, Russians were invited and they are now in charge of all those bases. Already, the reports say they have started training Nigerian soldiers. That is the information. They have started training Nigerian soldiers. So, can Russia share intelligence with Nigeria, like the United States military. Now, the whole thing is even more problematic because Nigeria is not having good diplomatic relationship with the Nigeria Republic. Remember how President Bola Tinubu threatened to invade that country after the military coup in 2023. Since then, after we impose sanction against them, things have things have fallen apart. Things have fallen apart. And if you like, I can say that the center can no longer hold. The GFC Nigeria today as an enemy country. So how do you expect them to share intelligence with Nigeria now? How do you expect them to allow Russia to share intelligence with Nigeria? And Nigeria has no intelligence uh, sharing agreement with Russia. This is the first time Russia is being very close in Nigeria in terms of military operation. Nigeria have had the French to deal with in all those in the Sahel and the Americans. Now the Russians have entered. And we don't have intelligence sharing agreement with them unless one will be created now. Is it possible with the attitude of Niger towards Nigeria because of the actions of President Bola Metinubu as the chairman of ECOWAS when the military coup happened in the Niger Republic in July 2023. So that puts Nigeria in a precarious situation. And you can see Nigeria's reaction 
to the Russian flag waving youths. That doesn't show a reaction of a friendly nation. It was a reaction that seemed to, to show that Nigeria is scared of Russia. Perhaps because of what Russia has done in Niger Republic in helping to install a military junta in Niger Republic, in Burkina Faso, in Mali. So that puts this country in a serious, serious situation. And insecurity is a major problem to our economic recovery effort, a major hindrance to it. Because of the insecurity in the Sahel, many farming communities in Nigeria are being decimated by all kinds of foreign bandits and local bandits. And Nigeria is paying the price in food inflation. So it is a very dicey situation that Nigeria finds itself right now. And then there is also the economic dimension. There is the economic dimension of Russia on, at our backyard. Many Nigerians are not aware of it, but that's why we have this channel to tell Nigerians things that they won't get in traditional media. Now, Nigeria is a gas-rich country, and Nigeria is exploring a new route to deliver its gas to Europe. We have vast resources of gas. Already there is a, a West African project, pipeline project, to take gas from Nigeria by pipeline through Morocco to Europe. That gas pipeline is going to pass, is passing through about 5,600 kilometers. It is passing through Morocco. This multi billion dollar project is now under threat, more so with Russia at our backyard. This is because the reason why Europe wanted Nigerian gas was because they want to wean themselves from dependence on Russian gas. That was why Europe is interested in that project. So that they can call the bluff of Russia. You can see that despite the war between Russia and Ukraine, Europe depends so much on Russian gas that they could not sanction Russia on gas. The Europe could not sanction Russia on gas. They have they can tell complain all they would about Russia invading Ukraine. But the the most effective weapon they could have used against Russia was to put embargo on Russian gas. But Europe could not. They depend so much on Russian gas. They were looking for alternative. So this Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline to Europe passed through Niger Republic. And you think that Russia will allow that project to succeed? Do you think that Russia will allow that project to succeed as their influence has expanded under the Sahel region? I will not even be surprised if that project is the main strategic reason why Russia was interested in change of government in Niger Republic, in Burkina Faso, in Mali, and across the Sahel, to ensure that that project does not work. Now, when you have a competitor like Russia, a world power at your backyard, and, you are, you, and they know the strategic importance of Niger and the Sahel region to the gas pipeline project, do you think that Russia 
we want a stable, insecurity free Nigeria? That is a million dollar question that the Nigerian government and those whose responsibility is to think out the solution for Nigeria, they should begin to ponder over. Because I doubt how Russia at our backyard could help us in sharing intelligence that will help us to end insecurity in Nigeria. Nigeria's insecurity might have entered a new level of uncertainty. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.